Hi everyone, welcome to our first lesson in Pixlr. We're going to start really simply with just getting Pixlr up and running. Uh, so I can make a new tab here. And I have it as a favorite, but the website is just pixlr.com backslash e. Please make sure that you do get the e version. It is the editor versus the x version, which is a really simplified uh, version. And if we go to create new, you will see uh, lots of different options. We're always going to pick the full HD until we get into the projects uh, where I might have specific sizes for you. Um, but this will just make sure that it's nice and big. And you'll notice that it's very similar to Photoshop if you've used or Illustrator. If you used either of them, you'll know that there's tools along the left hand side. You've got all of your like menu options at the top and then you've got sort of palettes of your history so you can like undo or redo things. And then layers is really important so that you can change the order. Um, and then your workspace. So this is our workspace here and I'm just going to um, zoom out by hitting Command minus or Control minus, depending if you're a Mac or a PC user, so I can see the whole my whole workspace. All right, I need to go get a picture, so I am going to go into Google and type in typography and just get a picture that I can use. I like this one. Make sure that you click on the image to open up the actual image, not using the thumbnail. And I'm going to right click and just go copy image and go back to my Pixlr and then I'm going to just paste it which is command or control V and there it is and it's quite big. So the tool we're going to be using today, really simple, is just this arrange tool. It looks like a little arrow and it is what we use to move things around and um, arrange all of our objects. So make sure that you always keep it on fixed, especially for images. That way as you make it bigger or smaller, it constrains your proportions, which means that you can't make it squishy this way or squishy that way and it won't look terrible. All right, once we have it in place, there's a couple of things that we can do. I'm actually going to make it even a bit smaller. Uh, so the first tool I wanna to show you is how to duplicate. So I can hit duplicate and pull off a second option. There's actually quite a few ways to duplicate layers, but this is one of them. And you'll see here, I've got my original image and then I've made a copy in my layers. The other way to make a duplicate layer is to hit these three buttons on the left and you can also do it this way by duplicating a layer and then again pulling off the, the duplicate. So now you can see I have three of them. And what I wanted to show you with this tool very simply is um, a couple, oh I need one, one more. One more. Okay. So this one's going to be my, this was my original. So I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to rename my file by just clicking on those dots and I'm going to leave the dot PNG. So I'm going to say this is the OG and I like to name my layers so that I can really keep track of stuff. And then this is my next one. What we're going to do with this is we are going to flip this horizontally. So you'll see that when I flip it horizontally, it sort of creates that, uh, that flip. So I'm gonna just really quickly change this to horizon, oops. And then this one, my third one, I'm gonna do this, the flip vertical. And you can see that it basically makes a reflection this way. So I'm gonna come in here and rename this vertical. And then my last one, um, what I want to do is I just want to rotate it and you can obviously spin it all the way around uh, but this is how you would rotate an image. So I'm going to come in here and rename this one rotate and don't worry about the spelling on those layers I do a terrible job as well. So for all intensive purposes, this is basically what you need to know for some basic layers, how to rename them, how to duplicate. If you did make a mistake and you wanted to undo something, the command to undo is control Z or command Z. So I would just hit that and it will undo it. So it actually undid the titling of my image there. Um, if I did want to delete an image or a layer, I can also do that here. I can select that image and then go to delete my layer. 
And if I've changed my mind, I can undo it by hitting Control Z or Command Z. All right. If you would like to rotate your work other than on these 90 degree angles, there is a free rotate. And all you're gonna do is go to this center uh, nodule here or at the anchor point, And you'll notice that when you go over it, you get a hand tool, which then lets you uh, rotate it on incremental angles. So you can make it exactly as you like. So that is sort of more of a free rotate with that and you're done the uh, the rot rotating and the reflecting uh, all I'm going to ask you to do is to save it so you're going to go file save and the two types of versions we're going to be looking at are the PXZ format um, this is Pixlr format so it will only open in Pixlr but what's great is you can continue to edit a file as long as you save it as this um, I can also mark this because I can see your layers so you're always going to save it as a PXD file so this is lesson one or tutorial one and this is arrange tools and you are then going to download it and it will download to your computer and then you can submit it to the D2L for marking. And I would always just make sure before you close it that it's actually saved. So go to my downloads. And there I can see that it is coming through. All right.